Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to mod podge this uh, mailbox that I bought. I got this mailbox. I did not pay $6 because Valentine's Day is over. So I only paid about $1.50 for it. It was on clearance. And so we were are gonna Mod Podge this because it's just a plain blue. So the first thing we're gonna do is take off this because we don't need it. We're not giving it away as a gift. If you wanna give it away as a gift, then you could put this back on later. It's just a cute little doggy. You could put two, whoever you wanna give it to from, whoever. But we're not gonna use that. So we need our Mod Podge. Uh, we just get the water base one. It doesn't matter. This is just the regular one. And then we're going to use some of these um, Shopkin stickers we got here. And we're just going to decorate it with our Shopkin stickers. So what we're going to do first is get our Mod Podge and get a lot of it and just coat it all up with the Mod Podge. And once we do that, then we can apply our stickers. So you do a section at a time, however you want to decorate it. You start with that section first. So the first uh, sticker I think we will put on will be this one here. This little donut, delish donut. And I think I'm going to put her right there so I'm gonna just stick her on and then I think I'm gonna do these this cupcake one and put her right there make sure it sticks on very good and then you are gonna of course take more of your Mod Podge and just coat it on top so then it sticks works as a sealer like so make sure it's all stuck to your canister and when it dries up it's going to come glossy and clear so the next one we're going to do I think we're going to add uh, one of the big ones on I think I'm going to put bubbles actually no we'll stick to the theme of bakery now we're going to put this cupcake one on so we're going to need more Mod Podge and go down here like this you got to mod podge it first that way it seals it all in there and sticks better so let's go and get this little cupcake one out and we're going to put her right down here like so stick it any way you like usually you allow this to dry for a few hours before and then you put the coat on top, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to seal it right away so I don't have to wait. But uh, the way I'm doing it, it's going to move your sticker out of place, of course. That's why you allow it to dry first before applying the top coat. Just keep it all glued up like so. And then we're going to do the other side. This side here. So add some more Mod Podge on this side. And then we are going to stick on... Hmm, what should we stick on? What if we do this basket? Let's do this basket. And we'll put this basket right here. Stick her on. And then I think we should do a shopping cart on the other side. And we will do the shopping cart right on this side. And it's stuck on. You allow that to dry for a few hours. And then uh, you apply a top coat. I'm just going to continue on here and put on the big sticker. Just Mod Podge all this. Okay. 
And for the big sticker, I don't know which one we're going to put. Hmm. Maybe we should put the lollipop because she's cute. Okay, let's do the lollipop. Actually, Grand Jam is there. Maybe we should put the bread. Let's put the bread. The bread on this side. So here we have the bread and we will put the bread down here. And stick it on. You see how it's uh, popping up like that? You have to keep pushing it down and make sure all the air is out of the sticker itself and that way it'll stay in place. So you allow it to dry for a, an hour or two and then you apply, of course, a top coat to it. I'm going to apply it right now just for the purpose of this video for you. Get all the air bubbles out of it. And we'll do here. And there you have it. Now we can also do the back of it. So if you want to decorate it some more. So what I'm going to do is flip this on to the side like that and just Mod Podge the whole can. And then we're going to grab a sticker. I think for this one we will put um, this lollipop and put her here like this. And then also we can put these little decorations here and put this here like so and we can also put in some hearts you could put in whatever you want it's your way of decorating it and there is no a wrong way to do it Ain't that cute? I think she deserves a star. How about a star up here? Groovy. So you allow that to dry for a few hours and then you Mod Podge that. So you seal it all in. Now Mod Podge comes in all different kinds. Um, there's one that's uh, water base, there's one that has a matte finish, there's one that has um, a puzzle finish. There's very different kinds. I don't know how many they have. Probably about 10 different kinds. There's bubbles in here. Just take the bubbles out of it. There's lots of air in there. and Just take the air out and then you'll, you'll be good. Um, you need to apply at least two coats, possibly three coats if you want. And then we will do the front. So we'll go to the front of this. And now I will do this part. It's going to be harder to see. Oh, made a mess. That's all right. The good thing about this is that it's washable. It's an annoyance to have that, isn't it? <laughs> all right, so I'll clean it now just to get out of your way. I know. All right, so on the front of that, we are going to put in bubbles. Because Bubbles is so cute and we'll put her right down here. And then I saw a Shopkins sign. Yes, well we have one right here. We'll put this Shopkins sign on it. And we'll do right here Shopkins. Just like that. 
And then we will add some other things to go with him. I don't know. What do you think we should put? I think we should put these little bubbles. Because she's blowing bubbles anyway. So we'll put some bubbles. Put one there. And we'll put another bubble over here. And we'll get another one and put another bubble over here. And we have some more bubbles on this page. Now these stickers you can get at Walmart, Toys R Us. Um, the dollar store actually had some. They just came out with it. So you could just go about anywhere and get it. Where am I going to stick you? Let's stick you up here. Bubbles. And there you have it. So you allow this to dry for a few hours and then you apply another coat to it. Two or three coats just to seal it in there so it doesn't come off. And then you would have the finished product and you'll be able to use it for just about anything. And it is something that kids can do themselves. Of course with adult supervision because Mod Podge is safe for kids, but you, also, you always need adult supervision for anything that you do. So there you have it. I've got to allow this to dry, and then the completed product will be all nice and shiny. And here you have it. And then we'll have this. All of it, all the way around. You allow that to dry. The finished product, you can see already it's starting to get a little glossy. And it'll be perfect once I do another coat on there. So there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully you can go and do your own mod podging. It's a lot of fun and it's worth it. Until next time, Canada.